Well, believe it or not, we are about halfway through Art Town, and you would think, hey, you know what? They've exhausted a lot of the events and everything going on, but no, they are ramping up. There's still so much to check out. That's why we have Beth McMillan here. Talk about some of the events going on this week in Art Town. Thank you so much for coming. We've been chatting just about so much happening. A lot of nighttime events, so things are cooler outside. It's just beautiful. Great. It cools down so nicely in Northern yeah. Nevada. It's really lovely. It's not like Phoenix or Vegas. So it's just, yeah. it's been beautiful evenings. Last night was fabulous, Sunday night was fabulous, so everybody should come out. So let's delve right in. You got two great events going on at the university tonight. Yes, Oh Joy is an amazing exhibit by Margot Piskovich. It's her collection and it's at the Lilly Museum and if people haven't been to the Lilly Museum, it's absolutely fabulous, it's gorgeous. And Margot is a community member. She Correct. just loves to collect art and wants to show this off. Amazing collection of art. So I, it's really, it's, it's amazing. You just are stunned by it all. That is so cool. So that is going on, as Beth said, at the Lily Museum at UNR. Once you're done checking that out, all you have to do is walk down to the quad because they're having a Mandela Day event. Yes, and so it's Mandela Day. It's Mandela's, Nelson Mandela's birthday. Oh. And so that's why the celebration takes place. And we have so many members of the African community from Africa in Reno right now as part of the Mandela Fellows and some other people that the International Center organize. And instead of having a performance by one culture or another, we're having a huge international expo and we'll have taiko drummers and mm. we're gonna have powwow dances and a lot of fashion, a lot of cuisine is gonna be seen by all these different countries from Africa. It's gonna be great. And if you've been to the quad in the evening, oh, so many peaceful. trees, so gorgeous, little bit of breeze, Perfect. Perfect, nice. Let's pop up the information on your screen there of those events that is going on. There's the time and locations there for you. This next one you're really excited about, also happening tonight at the Nevada Museum of Art. This is Indians Who Rocked the World. You saw this film, you said it's fantastic. Unbelievable. I mean, you, you are literally spellbound when you watch this movie. It really shows you the influence that Native Americans have had on rock and roll music for many, many years. And Pura Fay, who is going to be our artist the next to, on Wednesday night is um, she's in the movie oh, okay. and she is going to open the movie she's going to introduce the movie so that's going to be really exciting to have her present and what's great is about that's free so that's going on at six o'clock tonight at the Nevada Museum of Art and every Wednesday you guys have these cultural concerts at uh, Wingfield I believe yes and this week we're celebrating all things Native American right you just mentioned Pura Fay is gonna be there and yes. the Man Killers so the Man Killers are a group a women a fem all female group drummers and they come from all over the country and one of the man killers is right here from Reno, Michonne Eben. She works mm -hmm. at the Reno Sparks Indian Colony. So she's a homegrown artist and it's gonna, they're gonna open for Pura Fay and Kerry Moore and it's gonna be an amazing celebration of Native American culture. I mean, I just love how we have so much talent here that you guys are cultivating and highlighting as well. This is so cool. And you mentioned Barley Ranch earlier. It's beautiful at night and you guys have your headliner series continuing and we got an America's Got Talent performer coming. She is not to be missed. She's actually been here before as part of Pink Martini. And uh, uh, Storm Large is an amazing artist. And she was recently, as you say, on America's Got Talent. It's for adults only. Uh -huh. There is some adult content and um, she's amazing. It's not to be missed if you want a really great night at Bartley Ranch. Tickets, it's a ticketed event, it's not free. Tickets are available at arttown.org. Okay, and you know what? Sometimes you just need a date night in the middle of the week, get out and enjoy. Now Pride is coming up. And yes. Now June typically is Pride Month, but we have our Pride Fest as part of the Art Town experience. Yes, there's a parade in the morning, so everybody go down Virginia Street, there's a great parade, and then Pride will take place all around Wingfield Park, First Street, um, uh, West Wingfield. It's, it's just an amazing gathering of our community on Saturday. It will be warm, so be prepared, <laughs> wear a hat. We hat, bring lots of water, it is a fun celebration out there, but of course, Wingfield Park gets to be kind of beautiful too. You can yes. find those lovely trees, sit in some shade, and just enjoy. Now we have time for just one more event, and we have The Last Unicorn. This is a production from Sierra Nevada Ballet. Yes, Sierra Nevada Ballet. It's an original choreographed piece by Rosine Benner. It's an original story and 
uh, it's going to be at the Pioneer Centre, so if you want to stay indoors and be cool, mm -hmm. I recommend you go to thepioneercentre.com and get tickets for that show. And that is Saturday, so let's pop up those information. Here's all the dates of the events that we just talked about. Cultural Connections at Wingfield Park on the 19th. Storm Large will be at Bartley Ranch on the 20th. Northern Nevada Pride the 22nd, plus the last unicorn on that Saturday as well. And then Vanessa Collier at St. James Brasserie. We didn't quite get to her, but you can find more information at ourtown.org. Beth, thank you so much for being here. We'll have you back next week. Talk yes, about many you. more events. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll stay, stay with us. We'll be right back.